Hello everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft Modern Warfare build tutorial, and today we are doing another Chinese tank. We have not done a Chinese tank in, I mean, ages. Not since really the beginning of the channel, really, we haven't done a Chinese tank. Uh, which is our first Chinese tank, it was a WZ-111-14, I think it was. And we only ever did one Chinese tank. So here is our second ever. This was requested. This is the VTR, the VT4, excuse me. Um, this is also known as just the MBT 3000. This is China's newest tank, newest modern tank. Oops, there's a missing button on this wheel here. Just uh, see if I can replace that. There we go. Um, but yeah, this is their newest uh, main battle tank. Just it just entered service uh, last year, I think, actually. Um, but a quick look around at the tank, it actually turned out quite alright. I mean, not the best it could be, but I think it actually turned out alright. I mean, in, in reality, it does resemble the Abrams quite a bit, but then again, a lot of these modern tanks do. Like, look at the Leopard 2, resembles, look at the, uh, you know, obviously look at this. Literally put this, the Leopard 2, and the Abrams all together. Aside from color, they look similar. Uh, but, um... Yeah, it's quite interesting. This machine gun I think I could have done better on, but I honestly couldn't figure out anything better for the top uh, coaxial machine gun. But um, here's a little bit of information on the tank real quick. Designed, couldn't necessarily find any information on what it was actually designed. Manufactured, it's still being manufactured uh, ever since 2014. The number built is obviously still being produced. It's been in service since last year, and uh, its main armament is a 125mm smooth bore gun and origin is obviously in China. So, you know, that's about it really. This was a requested vehicle, but, you know, we're missing something. What could it be? Hmm, other than the, other than the design, like design information over there, I mean, we basically have all the information. The whole tank is here, but what's missing for this tank? If all of that is here, then what exactly is missing? Oh no, because you guys know me, with all my tutorials, there's always going to be that one expense, the interior. Yeah, we... Alright, so, where do I begin? The interior, I could not do an interior because, for one thing, the tank just came out, really. So there really isn't any images or anything as to what the interior of the tank looks like, so I could not do an interior. So really, it's up to you to just go and do whatever you want with the interior, if, however, you can even make one. Here's the front where the, where the driver should be. Driver will not even fit in there. Those are the periscopes for the driver at the front. To get into the tank, you can't get in straight down because if you're to break that, the side of the turret will be exposed. Like, right in between that stair, the, those blocks right in there, those smooth sandstone blocks, that is exactly what's below us when we try to go inside. Break that, that whole spot is open. So really, the only way in would be to throw like an ender pearl or something in there or have like a rail like a minecart in there to like click into or something like that other than that you can't get inside the tank and there is no interior so do what you want with it but sorry that there is no interior so, I couldn't do anything about that there's just no about it but really without saying anything more let's just get right to the glorious tutorial alright so to start off with layer while we're going to want to have a stone slab sandstone slab stone button oak wood log stone brick stair stone brick slab we're gonna start off on the right side of the tank we always do by placing down uh, two bottom slabs of stone brick. Uh, okay, it's lined up. I should just like that. Two bottom slabs of stone brick. Let's give a space over to the left by three and then place down two more. Once you've done that, let's put a placeholder here and here and then do some upside down uh, stone brick stairs with back space into the back of the tank. Just like that. And in front of that, do two top slabs of stone brick on either side. Behind these bottom slabs here, behind at the like right back in here, I'm going to do a row of two sideways logs on either side. That'll make the first wheel. Skip space and put in that space two, a row of two stone brick slabs. Then do another row of logs on either side, just like that. And we're honestly just going to repeat this another four times. So just keep on just repeating this until you had six wheels. So that's three. Four, five, and now for number six. 
There we go. Now right behind the uh, sixth wheel, we're going to do an upside down stone brick stair on either side. And on top of those stone brick, uh, actually, really little, what am I doing? That's part of the next there. No, no good, bad. Don't worry guys, at some point I'll learn not to do that. So actually, what we're actually going to do is in between these upside down stairs, do a row of three stone brick, I mean that's not brick, a uh, sandstone top slab. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, sandstone top slab and actually we're going to jump to the front here. And right back in here, you're going to do a row of three going across. Yeah, right there. And now this whole middle section, you can just fill it all up with, you know, stone, uh, stone slabs. Just bring that all the way to the front. Just like that. Uh, now that we're done that, we can just take our stone uh, buttons and put it on the outsides of all of the wheels on either side. Just like that. Once you've done that, now we can take onto the next layer. So, we're going to take our stone brick stairs and I'm starting on the front of the tank. We're going to put two, ups, uh, two upright uh, stairs on either side, just like that. Backs facing the back of the tank. And behind it, what we're actually going to do is we flip that up, go in there, grab that. We're going to take oak wood stairs, we're going to come back with a placeholder, we're going to place two upside down on either side like this, with the backs of the stairs facing the front of the tank, and then in front of that we're going to reverse it and then put two more and make them back to back like that. Once we've done that we can take our smooth sandstone and it's really this simple. Just do a row of two and run it all the way back till you, like, just run it all the way back until you hit this last wheel right here. And once you do that, you're going to do a row of two upside down sand, uh, sandstone stairs, like that. Let's do that on the other side as well. Like that. Now run it up to the front. Ah, uh, man, I hate this computer. It's constantly slowing down. Come back to here, we're going to take our both of the logs. slabs forward and a uh, row of two, two thick like that. Then in front of that we're going to do a war brown carpet on either side like this. Then we're going to take some skeleton skulls and this uh, iron trap door. Put an iron trap door right there in the middle, skeleton skull with the base is facing the tank. 
throw up three smooth, uh, smooth sandstone right there with three iron trap over the top of it. And um, once you've done that, we can just take our uh, sandstone stairs and finish up like with a row of three right between the wood stairs. And in front of it, what we're going to do is we're going to do a we're going to do a stair here and here that with a smooth sandstone right between it. And then we're going to we have any slabs here. No doubt, so I'll just grab a slab over here. Do a row of three sandstone slabs right in front of it like that. And then that kind of finishes off the front of the tank. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to take our wooden trap doors and literally just cover the whole side of the tank all the way to the back here. Get wooden trap doors and make sure that they're closed just like that on either side. Just like this. Now we can jump to the back of the tank again. What we're going to do is we're going to grab out of here, we're going to want nether brick and fill up these two gaps here with nether brick blocks. Oh. There and there. And then on the back of them, put a put a ladder on each block. Put a stone button on this side and on this side. And that finishes off the back of the tank really for layer three. So that's really it for layer three. Now we can move on to layer four, which is where everything starts to like start to wrap up. So moving on to layer 4, what we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, nether brick slabs, put two slabs on top of the nether brick blocks from the previous layer, and then go forward one on either side. Go forward one, one uh, row of two. Once you've done that, we can take our sandstone slabs and then like kind of do this, just make it all even like this. So two at, the, two at either end, and then two in the middle there, and then do a row of seven right in front of it. And do another row of seven and then do a final row of seven now that we've hit this point we can really uh, just take our smooth sandstone and cover all of this up here we're going to need this a whole platform for the turret but that's really the back of the tank done all we're going to do is we're going to throw these extra gas tanks in the back so just put a placeholder in between there Put two logs coming off that way and two logs coming off this way. Put a wooden trapdoor on either end. Flip that one and then flip that one and that's the extra gas tanks hanging off the back of the tank. And now we can begin with the base of the... Actually, we'll, we'll just take our brown carpet and just throw two brown carpet there and then three there. Just put this minor detail in. Alright, that'll just make that a little bit simpler so we have to go back to that. Now we can actually move into the turret itself. So what we're going to want to do here is put two smooth sandstone blocks there and then two there. In front of it, you're going to put an upside down stair on either side. And then you can just put an upright stair like this with the back space in the front of the tank. In front of it, do another upside down stair. And then right in the middle of it, you're going to do another one. Once you've done that, you can just jump right to the back here, do an upside down stair there and there and then do a row of three smooth sandstone in between it. And then take your sandstone slab and then do a row of five behind it. And then, uh, well that comes to the next layer. I think that may actually be it for uh, this layer actually. Yeah, that's it, so now we can move on to layer five. So moving on to layer five, which is basically our final layer, what we're going to do is we're going to start at the front of the turret we're going to take our iron trap doors, we're going to put an iron trap door here, 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 and here. Then we're going to take our sandstone slabs, we're going to do a row of three in between these two iron trap doors. And then you're going to do one in the middle there. Then you're going to come forward one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then at the tenth space, do a nether brick slab. Now, uh, two sandstone slabs from the front of the gun put on top of these two sandstone block st sandstone slabs another two slabs to make those blocks oh this is actually three long and put one right back there i guess so that kind of makes the gun and now we're going to just gonna take our iron trap door and we're going to run it all the way up till you hit the nether brick slab but once you hit the nether brick slab we're going to put a wooden trap door underneath of that Moving back to the turret itself, we're going to take our sandstone stairs, put a stair there and there, 
Then in between it, you're going to do a row of three smooth sandstone. Then we're going to take our skeleton skull and we're going to put a skeleton skull on either end, on either side of the turret, on the stairs, like that. Those will be like our uh, grenade launchers, smoke grenade launchers, to make that make that more clear. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to just take our smooth sandstone and run it all the way to uh, the back right here, and then off one more uh, over top of the uh, smooth sand, uh, over top of the sandstone slabs from the previous layer. Sorry if I'm like very messed up with my commentary, I'm very tired. I only got four hours of sleep last night, so I'm very tired. You know what, since there's not going to be any interior, so literally just fill that all up, so don't even worry about it right now. What we're going to do now is we're just going to take our, uh, our wooden trap doors, put two wooden trap doors on that stair there and that slab there. Do that on either side. And then on top of it, just stay on top of it, jump and place one, jump and place one, make sure that your body's facing the turret as you do this. Oh wait, what am I saying? It has to be facing away from the turret, excuse me. Make sure that it's facing away from the turret so that you, when you flip it up, the hinges are on the previous trap doors like that. That's what you want on both sides, just like that. On the other side, put a smooth sandstone in front of those, and put a blank sign on either side of the turret on those blocks. Now that you've done that, you can just take your wooden trap doors, and now we're going to move on to this block and start placing them. So it's it a hinge is moved up, place a hinge on that one, then place five of them here, hinge it to this one, and then hinge it to the block right there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to place all the other wooden trap doors hinged to these ones. So just place them all and hinge them to the previous ones just like this and now you can flip them all closed and that'll make the back that'll make the basket that's hanging off the back of the turret like that and now what we can do now is I think, I think that maybe I should be a bit at, I think that may actually be it for this layer so I think we can move on to what is basically our final layer other than like the top of the coaxial machine gun and the antennas that's about it that's about it so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our, our sandstone stairs, we're going to place a sandstone stair right here. Uh, yeah, right there. So it's a diagonal in from the back right corner of the turret. We're going to grab some birch fence, put a birch fence on the back in the back corner of either side of the turret, like that. What we're going to do is we're going to take our brown carpet. In the back here, we're going to do a row of three brown carpet right here. Do a, brown, a row of three brown carpet heading up the right side of the turret, like that. Going to do a look at this. All right, on the left side of the turret, but our right right here. We can do another row of three up this way, but then our brown carpet right there. Yep, that's what we need. And now we can just proceed with the final bits of the turret. We're going to take our wooden trap door, put a wooden trap door here and here, make sure that they open toward the front of the tank like that. We're going to take a skeleton skull, place a skeleton skull right there. Take a sandstone stair, put a sandstone stair right there. Grab some glass, uh, some black stained glass pane, and then item frame. Put an item frame on the front of the stair, and then the glass pane inside of there. That'll be the periscope. I think that's the gunner's periscope. I'm gonna take a stone button, so put a stone button right there. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to take sandstone slab, put a slab right there in between the wooden trap doors. Grab your iron trap door, put an iron trap door in front of it, and then one behind it. And that's really it for that layer. Now we can move on to just the antennas. So just grab iron bars, and on top of the fences, stack up one and two on either of, on either of them. Those will be the antennas. And now on top of this sandstone stair, place another sandstone stair on top of it, just like the one on the previous layer. Put us a skeleton skull on the left of it, where well, well, the left of it, but the right of the tank, whatever. Just place one right here. And that'll be the like the the, uh, the the drum magazine or whatever, box magazine. And then you're gonna have we're gonna have to break that. Put a placeholder. Put a birch fence gate right behind that stair. And that'll make the colossal machine gun. And I actually think that's it for the um, for this tank. 
yeah, that's that's it. That's all the detail that has to go into it. I think that it turned out pretty well, detail-wise. But um, as far as the you know interior, again, sorry that there couldn't be an interior, but there's literally no images regarding an interior, and there's still some classified stuff about the tank. Uh, but a little thing is though, um, this was actually meant to go. This is also supposed to go to Pakistan to be the Al Khalid uh, Mark II tank to replace the first one, obviously. But uh, I think China's keeping this one. But I think Peru is getting some of these tanks as well. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So uh, I hope you all enjoyed. If you have any requests for any tanks, please be sure to leave them in the comments. Uh, go follow me on Twitter now that I have a Twitter page, and um, I will start to you know maybe keep you updated uh, depending on how many followers I have there. If you follow me there, I'll start to keep you updated on the you know channel as to whether or not maybe I'll be uploading on a certain day or if I'm not going to be uploading that day. I'll let you know. Or if there's any projects, you can also leave uh, tank requests on my. Twitter page if you want, uh, tweet me and I will be sure to look at the requests. And yeah, that's about it. So I'll see you all next time. Have a good night. Goodbye.